Hello, and welcome back to Gudumen, a monster's adventure. Today, we're going to be heading into the forest ballroom and taking on the boss of the Radish Woods. And, uh, probably the only wait. boss in the game that's going to give so any actual dead. challenge. By the way, I guess I should point out, I, uh, off screen, I turned the game volume up a little, and by that I mean the in-game option to turn the volume up, so I'm gonna see if that might make it to where drilling noises aren't, like, drowning me out. Let's just, like, see for certain whether that happens or not. If it happens here, then yeah, it was all for naught. Anyway, Rocco! stay back. I'm fighting you. What was that? I can't understand you. Rocco, translate for me. Who? Me? I'll do my best. I am growing my father's hair? My food is full of eels? Come on. My wings explode? That doesn't make any sense at all. Build the Phantom Kingdom, so that's what the prince is after. Not today. So, fun fact, Mosby's dialogue is actually different in the English dub from the Japanese dub. Or I guess the Japanese original, since it's not technically the dub at that point, I don't think. Yeah, Mosby is the only one who you can't just keep wailing on for a whole fight of all these bosses. To my recollection, anyway. Unless I'm, like, forgetting how one of the other bosses is like, but I'm pretty sure Mosby is the only one. Yeah, basically you have to wait until he does this, or... Is Mosby a guy or a girl? Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm, I'm really slipping today, aren't I? Yeah, that's another opportunity you have to hit Mosby, is when he's just, like, standing still over here. I guess that's kind of one of the things that bugs me about Mosby, is that he's got... He's one of those bosses from games that, like, basically only gets hit because he explicitly lets you hit him. What the? Oh, I meant to take that off, not switch to fire parts. That said, I guess it's a little better than the other fights, if only because you actually have to use some kind of strategy and there's like a challenge to it. I think if you're like really daring you can hit him when he's like really low to the ground, but you have a very short window to do it and it's arguably not really worth it. And oh. Okay, especially since like, god damn it. Oh. For a second I thought I had somehow gotten poisoned, but I'm pretty sure that's not a status effect you can get in this game. In fact, I don't think there even are status effects in this game. 
Except by like a very, very liberal definition of the word. Uh, what, what? I got caught on the geometry, nice. So I think some of these attacks are new to the hard mode version, so... That's... something. Come on, get... damn it. There we go, okay. I just gotta keep this level up until the end of the fight, because we've just got a little longer to go, and... Actually, this might do it. Uh, there we go. Walk on range can be a little bit finicky. Uh, no. Actually, can I hit him from down here? No. I cannot. God damn it. But, there we go. He is down. It's like the only remotely challenging fight in the game, by the way. The rest of them, you literally just beat the fight by spamming one move the whole time. Anyway, let's go pick up our heart piece, life gem, whatever you want to call it, and with that, we're done with the forest ballroom, and for now, done with the radish woods in general. And we got Rocco. Mosby totally got owned. What a complete loser. I certainly won't let her do that to me. We'll see. Just try not to lose too fast. She'll get cocky. Well, I'm next, and I'm going to beat her. No chance for you to impress the prince. Sorry. Ooh, I'll show you, big breath. I'm just glad we have the prince to lead us. Duh! The man said go, so we went. If it weren't for him... The Phantom Kingdom destroyed instantly. That was, like, totally scary. It's, like, such a good thing Great Fang connected our worlds. But we were still lost in there for decades. Again. Rebuilding the kingdom will be hard. Like, duh, of course. Maws be lost. I'm counting on you two to beat her. I'd do anything for you, your highness. Hey, get your dirty flippers off my princey! <laughs> I'll see you later. You saved me! The Phantoms want to rebuild their old kingdom. That's their plan. Let them try. I'll stop them. Hope so. That tiny cage made my shoulders stiff. Rebuilding Monster Village should loosen me up. I could always loosen you up with my drill. No thanks. Stop tickling! Well, uh... That sure was something. Uh, let's not save the progress just yet, because... Uh, we've only done about, like... Let me see. Ten minutes worth of recording on here, so I want to do something else. Before we get too far in the beyond just using the life gem. Um, so, first things first, uh, we only have like 4,800 some to get things with, so I don't think we can afford any new equipment just yet. But, here's what I am going to do. 
I'm going to head on over here into Spinach Caverns. The third set of levels. Third. Yeah, I could just dub over that in post. But also, I don't want to. Like, I do that enough as is, and it's always kind of a hassle to do it. Anyway, Bracken Hollow. And I'm not going to be starting the level just yet, by the way. But there's some stuff I need to do first. specific solution of go get a mole. Like, specifically a mole alone has the strength to break a rock. Anyway, over here is a mole dojo. Remember this place? We didn't go in here, but I kind of alluded to the fact that we're gonna be going in here at some point in the future. So, here's our mole. You know, she's like 10, right? Right, so, um, this minigame is piss easy. Literally, just like, go for things he's going for. And, like, try to be a little faster than he is. And keep in mind, another big part of this, and why it's so easy, is that he can only go for, like, one of these things at a time. Whereas Green can go for as many as she can fit in her drill's length. So I guess if you want, once you've got a decent lead on him, you can, like, just start picking up Pockles. Like, right now I've basically got him beat, so... I can just pick up Pockles, like, the rest of the time if I need to. And, like, if he gets ahead of you somehow, it's still really easy to get back since, as I said earlier, he can only do one of these at a time. Oh, that's that all taken care of. So I believe, yeah, it's only showing a clear sign from old Dojo for now. That's what it shows when you've like beat a level but haven't like gotten everything from it. Um, later on, we'll actually get to do more stuff in Mole Dojo, but for now, that's all we can do. But, let's head on back to Bracken Hollow, and, uh, see what there is to see. Good, you're here. Yep, time to get started. Rock. 
Isn't there anything else you can do? Hmm. Well, my brother Digby should be around. If we work together, we should be able to destroy this rock. Well, where is your brother? I think he said he was going to visit Monster Village. Got it. I'll find him. Ain't no power stronger than two moles against one really, really hard rock. I also like how Perrine's voice actor always, like, reads lines entirely in the wrong tone. Like, she read, isn't there anything else you can do in, like, this super condescending tone? <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, here's Digby. He is the other mole we need. But yeah, um... I guess that's just kind of a thing with this era of dubs. It's like... Uh... Weirdly enough, this was like back when dubs could actually get, like, normal... Yeah, this was back when dubs could actually get, like, normal talent, for the most part. Unless they were, like... You know, nowadays you can still get professional, like, non-dub talent. But it's not quite as easy, I guess, because... I mean, you don't see Tara Strong voicing a lot of, like, anime dubs or, like, Japanese game dubs these days. At least not in my experience. And, I mean, she isn't here for this one. She... I think she's the voice of Cream. Like... She did do a lot of, like... Or at least some anime dubs back in the day. I think she was someone on Soul Eater. And, uh, spoilers, a. Uh, I believe he does show up in Asparagus Lake, too. Yep, there he is. Alright, so... I guess now all that's left to do is head on back to the, uh, Bracken Hollow. But you know what? I'm gonna save that for next time. So, I guess I'll see you all for that, and yeah, later.